Hello guys and guys, this is John666134 here doing a review on Halo 4 Series 1 Grunt Storm. And yes, he is marveling over here, his penny, his magical penny. But uh, onto the figure, the figure comes with the Halo 4 Plasma Pistol and he does not come with his penny. His penny was his paycheck for the year. Let go, let go, there we go. He doesn't want to let go of this pay he's like, see he's like no no my paycheck but uh he comes with his plasma pistol which obviously is different than the uh, halo reach pistol i'll show you more about that later and uh really the only thing other thing he comes with is his helmet his helmet is removable and i will show you his face it looks like a shark really really ugly like considerably more ugly than the uh Halo Reach grunt. See, he looks like a shark. I don't, I don't understand why they went from unique alien to shark. We have those here on Earth. We don't need them in space. Yelling and screaming like little girls. And giving us birthday parties. But, other than that, it, uh, it doesn't have any other accessories. Um, I'm going to go ahead and show you a comparison between this grunt and Halo Reach's grunt. Uh, they, the Halo 4 grunt is obviously taller, as you can kind of see, I guess. I've got him kind of crouched over, but eh, you can see it better this way. The, grunts, the Grunt Storm's head is a little bit smaller, I mean, it's got a stubbier neck, so its head is shorter, but its backpack is taller, so that, that compares. But I wish they did something where you could take the backpack off of the storm. Because you know you guys know that have played Halo Reach know that the backpack can't come off. And uh you can blow the backpack off in the game. Why can't I put it back on? There we go. You can blow it off in the game, so why wouldn't you be able to do it on this figure? It just makes it a little bit easier for collectors of and uh stop motion makers like me. Well, sort of I've tr I've dabbled in stop motion, but you know what I mean. The um, let me go to the plasma pistol. I think I've stretched that out a little bit. But uh, whoa! Hit the camera. The uh, the plasma pistol is a bit bigger. Uh, well, they're about the same size. But uh, the paint is definitely different. This one has. Let me focus. No, drop the camera again. Dang it! Second time I've done this. By the way, I've done this, tried to do this video like three times. Um, it's just got this basic dark blue wash with uh, the light blue, with uh, the green, the green layer right there. This one, same sort of, but it's got a, a brighter blue with yellow, and uh, eh, I think they're just about the same. I've had. Uh, I actually had a uh, diorama that I did last weekend where I had my elite uh, general holding both of these. I had him dual wielding. That was pretty cool. But uh, he does hold the pistol pretty well. You have to get it in there and then like balance it on his finger. Sort of balance. I don't really. You have to get it to where it'll. His helmet doesn't like to stay on, but his uh once you get it in there, his gun isn't going anywhere. Unless you like tap it and then it'll go somewhere. But the helmet, the helmet likes to come off regardless. So uh, you might be want to be a little bit careful with that when you're using it. Um, just to go over his detail before I do this articulation, his detail is immaculate. Let me uh, go ahead and pick up the camera to go around him. He uh, he's got the uh, great detail in the backpack. His uh, his eyes are really really cool. They got the uh, black and Orange. Focus. Whatever. You saw it when I uh, brought it up. He's got the uh, this leopard's print kind of stuff on his shoulders. His uh, arms look pretty good. His gun. Um, his stomach. Let me see if I can get this thing to focus better. A little bit. He's got a little bit of wear tear in there, but... He's a grunt. Grunts usually go through the most damaging part of war. This part, 
I don't really care for. It's just a little bulb looking thing. It looks like there should be a brain or something in there. But other than that, they did an amazing job, and the cat goes through the shot. Oh, and by the way, I named him Halo. Say hi to the people, Halo. Kind of ironic I'm doing a Halo review. Get out of the shot, Halo. Thank you. Uh, other than that, his paint is immaculate. They, uh, they did a great job. Let me show you his head. His head is just black. His teeth are white, and then he's got the uh, shark-looking gray on the top pretty smooth. I feel like he's got a buzz, buzz cut. But uh, other than that, he's got really, oh, butt cheeks. He has butt cheeks. But uh, other than that, really, really great articulation. No, not articulation. I'm not on that part yet. Dang it, why am I going too far? To the articulation, he, uh, you know what, I'm just leaving that off. He has articulation in the neck or head, I guess. He, uh, it's on a ball joint. You're not going to get that much out of it. But it's something. He uh, has a swivel joint. <laughs> Derp. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, I think, yeah, that's a ball joint. You're not going to get much out of his head, but I guess he could work with it. He, uh, he's got shoulder shoulder joint that goes up to there. Pretty far. Goes down to there. He's got a, a swivel on the elbow and then a... Uh, I guess a swivel in the, in the uh, forearm and then elbow. My bad. He's got that on both sides. His uh, waist, he's got a lot of articulation in the waist. Like, he can crunch all the way down to there. Let me move his arm. But, he uh, crunches to about there, comes back to about there. It's pretty far parts of articulation. I like it. Um, ow. But uh, when before I got this guy, I was pretty skeptical. I didn't really like the uh, form because I was used to Halo Reach grunts, Halo One through Reach, and I didn't really like the resculpt. But once I've got him, I like it a lot. He uh, on his legs, he's got a ball joint in the uh, hip. I guess you'd call it hip or leg right here. Pretty far point of articulation. His uh, knee has got a uh, ratchet joint. You can hear it clanking. Or racketing, whatever it's called. And then he's got a swivel in his knees. I like it a lot. His, uh, he's got a lot of articulation, a lot of good points to him. I, uh, I was, like I said, I was skeptical about this guy, but once I picked him up, this guy is actually one of the best grunt figures I have, considering I only have three. Him, the Reach Grunt, and then a, uh, Halo 3 one that doesn't have any stuff with it. It kind of sucks. I, I wish I had the uh, backpack and mask, but... Oh, well. The, uh, this guy, I picked him up... Well, actually, I don't know how much I picked him up for. I got him for Christmas. And I'm just rea now realizing that I can do the review. But, uh... If you guys like this video, please subscribe for more. Um, let me know in the comments what you think about this guy. If I missed anything, please let me know. And, uh... Thank you guys for watching, and uh, subscribe for Random Penny. Bye-bye.